There we go. Okay. Now, do we know what day it is? What day is it? It's the ninth. I got that right. Okay. You want to go now while it's quiet? Would you get the basket? That would be good. Oh, very good. Good boy. He's a good boy. Here you go. He's got the basket. You too. Here, put some more down there. And one for you. And one for you. Another one for you. Good boy. What a good boy. You go lie down. You go back and lie down now. That's all. You go lie down. You go lie down. Go. Down. Go lie down. We did that. All done. We did that. That's a good boy. What a good boy. He went and got the BA. Oh, good boy, Jim. He's a good boy. That's Very nice and quiet with nobody else here. He did it perfectly. Awesome. Awesome. Right. What's going on, anything? Mike's on. Hi, Kim. Hi, guys. Um. Mike off? They were just all nothing happened. Very all, busy. Nothing happened all day. No. Well, no. How was your book? It's okay. It's the it's it's the staff of the White House, and it is somewhat of their reaction as as people come and go. But it's right now they're into the transitions between different parties. Oh. And how they had to. They had to get Carolyn out. Not her name. Kennedy. Oh, you're way back. Oh yeah. They, oh yeah. Some of these people have been there 30, 40, 50 years. Um, so they talk about having to move, move one out and get the next in. And basically, they have five hours. And basically, they can't bring in moving help because they'd have to get too much security clearance. So that it's all done by the staff that already are there. Oh. So between 12 noon and when they come back at 5 o'clock to change their clothes for the whatever the hell they go to, you know, the walls. Yeah. They've got to be changed. Everything done. Toothpaste, tube, you know, toothbrushes and toothpaste all lined up, everything laid up. Beds made, you know, the whole nine yards. Who wrote this book? Huh? Who wrote this book? Some woman. Some <laughs> woman. I don't know. Who has never stepped foot in the White House. I think she, I, I have to look back. I think she was a news, per, news, news person who then interviewed all these hundred. Oh, oh. There's a hundred people hmm. on the staff. How many uh, discs is this one? How many who's? How many discs? Oh, it's nine. Oh, cut down. I went through two today. It was interesting. Interesting. I don't know. The fact that they have to pay to get moved out. Oh. Or something like that. Because they're not presidential at that point or something. It's it's not a it's not a straightforward deal. They have to buy their own eggs and bacon. Oh. You know? At any rate, we're have ready. A good weekend everybody. Hi Linda. Sue, have a good week. Here's a, all these things I'll put over there and you'll find them. Over there. And they go away. And then this one. I don't know what that do. Uh, I'll put that in Linda's pile. Because I don't know what to do with it. Okay. Now we have Mellow's Bill, the trash guy.
They went up a couple dollars. Not a problem. Not a problem. I was going to say, still a good deal, right? Okay. $172.23. What was it? $150. Wasn't it $158 it was before? So they went up to $14. That's a bargain. <laughs> That's the best bargain on the property. That's the best bargain on the property. Okay. This isn't anything. I always got to make sure I throw away one thing. One letter. Why does this have a funny stamp on it? Donor view. That's people that want us to buy the software so we make money, but I don't think they do any better than what we're doing with chicken bricks. <laughs> Michelle Dixon, Coventry, Rhode Island. Okay. Michelle, here we come. You can have that one. Oh, okay, we'll try it this way. Okay, oh, it's an app, uh, it's a, uh, oh. an inquiry. Oh. Okay, so basically that can go in. She talked to Linda, so we'll let Linda give it back to me when I can think. Michael J. Fox Foundation. Oh, that could be interesting. That could be interesting. They're going to want money from me, or I'm going to ask them for money, one of the two. I don't think they have anything for me. Don't have anything for me. Okay, well, I'll write back to them, that's for sure, and say, gee whiz, guys. I'm having a bad time. There we go. Let's gotta go over there. Okay, now this is the registry of motor vehicles. What did I do now? It's only one. Oh my word. Registry, registry, registry. Oh. Why don't we finish everybody else first? <laughs> <laughs> South Jersey. From Sharon Lord. Okay, Sharon. Hang in there. Whoa! Okay, it's got complications here. I didn't make New Year's resolution, but I do like to at least do one thing I have been procrastinating all this year. It was cash in my change and send it to Service Dog Project. Enclosed is $98.05. Oh. That's beautiful. Nice. <laughs> Change cashed at Coinstar. Hopefully this will encourage the others. Thank you. There's a good one. That's awesome. Okay, guys, everybody out with the change. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. So I tell you what, we're going to put 98 in the pot, and we're going to put that in the, in in the, the coin thing. pot. Okay. Yeah, go put that. It's got a, yeah, let's go ahead. Okay. Okay, so that gets banged. So the five cents goes in our coin collection okay. and we're off and running I forgot about that mm -hmm. 
Okay, there's a dollar for the fun fun. Snapple, a, a group of dozen or more cows is called a flank? I don't believe it. A group of a dozen or more cows is called a flink. Huh. I never heard that. I gotta look that up. Scars are like tattoos with better stories. <laughs> yep. Gerald Ford was the only president and vice president and never elected to either one. Oh, that, yeah, that could yeah. be. Tell us from Jan. Huh? Who are those from? Jan? That's Jan Gerhold. Yep. And this is from somebody who's a very light print. Front Royal, Virginia. Maybe it's Heidi. Maybe it's Heidi. Maybe it's Heidi who has yeah. Riz. Oh, maybe. That would be fun. Ooh. Heidi Atkinson. Okay. My granddad used to say, right soon, if it nothing but a check. Okay. <laughs> so here's a check. Right. $100 of this check is 10% of my proceeds from my small business of making Classy Hound. She makes good jackets and coats. They're pretty. They're good. Is that... Oh, yeah, is that really? Yeah. Uh, the pandemic has made it for a tough year since most of the craft fairs were canceled. But I get in a special orders from Service Dog Project, CPs, and it saved the best, saved the last quarter. Thank you, CPs. The rest is an end of year gift from Riz and I to go in the fun fund. As always, Riz is the perfect service dog and I'm so grateful for her. Happy 21. Heidi and Riz. Oh, I'm going to hold that up. She's, nice she's got to be one of our best yeah. best best most adaptable. I gave her a dog. It wasn't quite, you know, I didn't really. Riz was supposed to get thrown out. It was a terrible dog and then I took her on for like a week and I said here, try this one. And she, <laughs> she pulled the whole thing off really well. The dog is doing beautifully. And she sent us the public access test um, of Riz doing the, the whole thing, and this, she's fine. Wonderful, wonderful dog. Okay, and here we have Robert and Colleen from Minnesota. Hello. Thank you for all you do for those in need of your beautiful dogs. I learned about you through my friend Ann Ballinger, who passed away on December 28th. She was in a car accident December 1st, 2019, was paralyzed from the shoulders down. We hoped and prayed she would regain the use of her arms, hands, and be able to breathe on her own. But when the COVID hit her, her care went down the, okay. along with her health. Now she is happy in heaven along with her loved ones. She fought a great fight for a little over a year and loved watching your videos, Cam, with the dogs. She had love for them so much. In memory of Anne, we would like this money to be given to help train the pups. Well, thank you very much, That's that Rod nice. and Colleen. That's nice. That's very nice. Thank you very much. I, we appreciate that. It'll go in the pot for making some more. Mm -hmm. And we have Jan Gerhold again, after which we will be down to the Registry of Motor Vehicles. <coughs> He's probably mad at me for something. Ugh. Okay. John Adams' pets, Satan and Juno, were the first do dogs to live in the White House. I'm now reading a book about the White House. It's about 
I'm, I hope I'm correct. It's written, I think, by a news news person who interviewed all the people who work at the White House, and there are a hundred of them, and most of them have been there thirty to forty years. So they have an ongoing relationship with all the different presidential families, uh, and it takes a hundred. I'll tell you another thing I learned today which could be very interesting in a few days. Um, they do not hire moving people to get the, the stuff in? get the furniture out and the next bunch in because of all the um, security clearances that they would have to have. Mm. So it behooves the 100 people who already work there the pastry chef and the butler and the maid and the death of the death, all these hundred people, they're the ones to have to schlep one out and the next one in. Wow. <laughs> so in this particular, this could be interesting come that a few is, days. Yeah, so that's interesting. Now that you know that, it seems to me a moving van is allowed to pull up, but only the, ha only the, the ordinary staff are allowed to handle the Oh, that's interesting. So look for that comment to be made. It, 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 there are a lot of interesting things. That along with buying their own toilet paper. I mean, really. Yeah. Okay, we have the registry of motor vehicles. What's eight dollars? Every off. Look, look at the ad with, with the faces, guys. Well, there's that, and there's that, and there's that, and there's that. Well, don't I get a sticker or something? Well, what am I supposed to do with that? Is that your registration renewal? Yeah. Oh, but don't they, they will give you a sticker? Oh, open it up all the way. I, I did! You did. Huh. They don't even give you a sticker. Expires the last day of January 21. Oh, here we go. Oh, wait a minute. Expires the last day of January 21. Mm -hmm. In other words, this is only good. That's now. Is that now? It's a couple of weeks. It's today's the ninth. Three weeks. I don't understand. Doesn't that say expires last day of? You try that one. I'll open the next one. Yes. And it's the Toyota. Yeah. So this is renewal. It says insurance stamp not. Oh, what you do is yeah. So this you have to sign on the back. That's a renewal. Sends it in, and then they'll send you the sticker. Yeah, but it expires in what? Two weeks. Yeah, they're slow going. They're slow going. I would keep a copy of that just in case. Oh? Yeah. yeah. It's only three weeks. They're going to give me one of these every two weeks? Let's see what the next one says. I've, I've seen them pull things like this with trailers. But I'm already on the road with that one. Okay, so here we have another one. It's the Camry. Expires the last day of January 21. That's a service dog one. That's crazy. That doesn't make sense. Huh? That doesn't make sense at all. No, it doesn't. It's 60 bucks. What the other one was? That was $60. That one's $60. That doesn't make too much sense either because the other one's so much bigger. Let's try one more. One more once. You would have that. Although when computers make mistakes, they make big ones. January 21. That's a, one of the RAV4s. So it sounds like they're just getting around to sending these. You probably have the the 21 sticker on your plate on the plates, right? 
So they're only given a turnaround time of three weeks for you to sign it, send it in, send a sticker. They'll send a sticker. But the, the registration. Right. They're, they're going to send this back to me. This is the piece I carry around. Wow. And it expires the, tw the first January 21st. I never had one like that before. Have yeah. you, Bud? No. Huh. Take a look at that. It should right. be January of 22nd. January of 2000. It should be a year from now. That's right. Yeah. They're not going to like it if I cross out the 21 and put 22. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please do not open. We won't do that. We won't do that. Okay. Said you was not this one. This is telling me that this one's expiring. That's so what they, I. Yeah, so they're going to send you another one that's been updated. Put the, put the register on staff on it and everything. Yeah. Because this is. That makes no sense. This isn't the one you're going to carry around with you. This isn't the one. Well, it tells me what. Right, because when they send you the sticker, it's with the new registration. That's yeah. right. That's what I thought. It's yeah. usually printed out with that same crap right across the face. Yes. Thing. And it'll say, yeah. It'll say 21 and I'll get very mad. What have I got here? I got something here. She'd like that box. Yeah, I'll keep that for Linda. Linda likes those boxes. Yeah, so oh! This is, yeah. This is one that gets filed with the signature and all that stuff. And then just... They'll send the thing. I'll get it on and send it out. And they'll probably say, you want to be 23 probably. Yeah. Yeah, 23. That's right. That's right. Okay. Yes, this is ivermectin. This is how we do our heartworm. Oh dear. Now what I do? Service dog project? Yeah, but why would this thing say this $60 expires January 21? Oh, okay. If you say so, <laughs> that's what... Okay. I'll give it a shot. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. She says I'm going to get a sticker for 22 all that back to you. That's a pretty funny way to put that on there though, I'll say. any rate, I was going to talk about ivermectin. This, this, I, this is the ivermectin we use for heartworm. Um, this bottle was probably $40 worth and it's 50, 50 cc's. Now if you take the milligrams per kilogram and all that stuff and you, you, you look at all the details here and you figure out how many milligrams of ivermectin you're getting in your pill pill. You find, I found that we needed basically three big drops. In other words, one third of one cc. That's really not very much, a tiny little bit. And that therefore this 50 milligrams is one third of one cc. So out of each of the 50, I will be getting three. So this is 150 doses for $40. Wow. It's available, it's a, it's a cattle production. Hmm. And it's it's the ivermectin, the, the, I always get the one by Merck. 
by Muriel, rather. Um, but do your own arithmetic, and you will save an awful lot of money. The only difference is the one you get from the store does have an element to control fleas, but if you're already using the flea and tick and stuff with the advantage and stuff, you know, you, I, in my opinion, don't need this. At any rate, there's 300 some odd injections. Okay. It's really, it's three big drops, really. One third of one cc. I think. What do I know? They may have changed it since I did that, so <laughs> I may not have kept up, too. Okay. All right, questions. That's what it's the mail. Yeah. Okay. I'm ready. Okay. All right. Okay, sound is on. Thanks, Victoria. Yeah. Okay. Bio BC love fizzle in Germany from this morning's DD. That's the the dictating that picks up. <laughs> oh, really? Fizzle in Germany. Germany. Right. Okay. 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 He was good, with nobody here to bother him. He was good. Yeah. I'm trying to I'm trying to do other things with him. I just I cleaned my room today instead. <laughs> well, that's, that's I can something. do so much I get tired. That's it. Baby steps. Um, Carlene cut her hair. UCLA, yeah. Carlene yeah. caused her hair to be shortened. It's it looks good. I I, I think it looks very I good. I just I just held it back here and went this way with scissors. Ah, yeah, that's good. all I did. It looks good shot. Yeah. I cut off four inches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, people saying they love your haircut. I used to be a redhead. Did you know that? No. Yeah. Auburn, really a dark red, but it was red. Wow. Not red anymore. <laughs> None of it. <laughs> uh, UCLA, any update about the fireplace? Well, we have the fireplace going. The fireplace is going, and they are coming to do it as soon as it is 48 degrees and not raining. So it may be a while. Yeah. Diane from West Springfield, Mass. Carlene, could you use hunting trail cameras around farm to see what is around the farm? Yeah, we got them. We've got some already. We've got cameras besides the ones that explore. There's one right there in the window. Yeah. That looks at the feed. Looks at the um, the feed container, food container. Okay. Sniffy uh -oh. Whiffy, you can. I knew somebody'd get after me. <laughs> Do you <laughs> think your two dollar donation covered uh, it last night? Well, it was. I doubled the one. You think I know more? I know more in that. That was a bad one. Uh, I do agree. It was a bad one. Okay. All right. Kimmy from Midway saying it's for renewal. That's why you can't email it. Right. Yeah. All right. And Sam is saying no. Probably your current sticker expires January twenty one, so you need to sign and send back. But you got guidance on that, right? Who called you, Linda? What this? Linda called you about the registration. It's all she knows what's going on. Who just called you about the registration? Somebody? Oh, I don't know who that was. Oh, somebody called. Okay. Yeah. So, I agree. I think I think that uh, you'll sign it, send it, and then you'll get uh, the sticker. It just seems you... very odd to me. The way they word it. Maybe. Maybe. I. Okay. Forget it. Okay. I don't read very um, well, anyway. All right. I'll go stop reading entirely. BioBC, I think slow mail is slowing up the bills you receive and the payments you send in. Um, okay, so the people giving feedback on the sticker, Sam and Kimmy, okay. 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 Nice capri. 
Jeffrey and Larky in the condo. Oh, that's a video. Okay. PJP, Carlene, remind Bud to put the thermometers up in kennels. Hi, Bud and Sue. Oh, there you go. Okay. Hi, Jerry. Yeah, actually, I'll. Well, it's it too out. late today. Well, no, I, I know. I have to ask Bud something about the heat, okay? You can't, it's not an easy, you got to put it up specially so the dog can't get at it. That's not an easy job. Uh, you got to have a fence on both sides of it. Yeah, no, this is actually in Deagle. Huh? In Deagle, I'm talking oh, about. Oh, yeah. they're talking about Kennel 10. Oh, Kennel, oh, kennel 10, okay. Um, Coleus with the gates in the barn down. Rosie is finally getting a good sleep. Okay, that's cute. UCLA mom, FYI, the White House and the Capitol were built yeah. and then rebuilt after the War of 1812 by slaves. Their owners were paid for letting them use them. Yeah. Okay. okay. Indy Dunes, hi, Carlene and Sue. How was your day? How it's been very good. I got a lot done. I got my hair cut and I got the room cleaned up. Cleaned. Yeah. A lot of that stuff I had to repack. Like, I have a huge rat and mouse department. It's, it's better, though, isn't it? Have you it is a lot yeah. better, but the container, I mean, I've got, you know, because I've ordered 48, 48 rat traps, you know? Yeah. Okay, let's see here. From uh, Peggy, hello to you both. For Carlene, I know you enjoy sometimes knowing how certain things are made. Have you ever watched How It's Made on the oh, yeah. Science Channel? On regular care. It covers so many different things on how they are made. You might enjoy something different to add to your TV viewing. My husband and I really enjoy it, Peggy. It is good. I've seen it. I've watched it. Yeah. It is good. Mm -hmm. That and uh, Dr. Paul. Dr. Paul. Yeah, I particularly like the how it's made ones that involve food or candy <laughs> or cakes. I see. Okay. <laughs> All right. Texas toast. What's for dinner? Texas toast? <laughs> <laughs> Do I don't think? know which one. I've, I've, I have had, what have I had today? I've had some of the steak. I've had shrimp. The shrimp, pineapple shrimp. Pineapple shrimp. And the other one's chicken puttanesca. I don't think I want that. Okay. You know, I, I do have bread out there now. I think of a fried egg. I can fry you some eggs if you want. Fernanda, hi, Carlene. Is Turby going to be a service dog? Cons yep. Consequently going to be new at it. Yeah, he's on track. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. P.W. Murphy, 1503. Carlene, what is the name of the book you are reading okay. about the White House? Sounds really interesting. Thanks. Your hair looks great. I cut mine myself also. Beats $100 at the hairdressers. That certainly is true. <laughs> um, there's something about the house. Yeah. I, yeah. Someone had actually posted it. Something yeah. about the house. Very, I don't know. Um, you'll, I'll have to, you'll have to, I'll try and remember tomorrow. Okay. Um, Carlene, I read the Daily Doggy. Has anybody been complaining about the barking? There was no barking. No barking. There was that one night where there was, everybody was going ballistic and there was no, no barking before it and there's been no barking after nice. it. Nice. Now you tell me why, why they barked and why they don't bark. Mm-hmm. I mean, people have sent me all sorts of suggestions and some of them are pretty funny. Um, but you know, uh, we have to work. We have to work on that project because it doesn't make an awful lot of sense. I would like to know why. Yeah. Um, Indy Dunes. I read an earlier post that a perfect pet was diagnosed with ball palsy. I did not know they could have that. Did you have any other SB, SDP dogs been diagnosed? Not that I know of. I've never. Heard, yeah. I've we're never pretty. We're pretty good. We haven't yep. had too much. Mm -hmm. um, Lila May wants to know how are the chickens? The chickens are all over the yard. That well, I have to say, I was I was in the sunroom over here looking out, and I see all the ch they were right up to the guest house. And yeah. I said to Linda, "Are they supposed to be up? I've never seen them up this far, close to the house." Well, you go explain to them you don't want them. They, I have no control over <laughs> yeah. them. They're flying over the fences. They were really all over. You know, they're they, all over the place. They were but it's really kind of good for the dog because the dogs are beginning to ignore them. Yeah. Okay, Allie Sparks, Rosie and Bunny seem to oh. dis disappear from the kitchen midday. Did they get out? They got out, mm -hmm. yes. I sat in my car and watched them. Uh, um, Laura did a nice job getting them out. 
They were out for about 10 minutes or so. Yeah. Yeah. They did very well. Okay. All right. Um, Fernanda, I came late. Did you do the basket or have you changed plans? Yeah, we're not doing that right now, right, for Jiminy? I did the, I did the basket before you got here. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed it. Okay. It was nice and quiet. There were no other dogs. Okay. So nice, for, yeah. nice. Good job. So you, I guess you could rewind Fernanda to if you wanted to watch it. Okay. Texas Toast, can Bud work on the sound in the barn? No. Get him off my neck on that barn, will you? I got so many sound problems. I'm not going to add another one at the moment. Lila Mae, did your mattress stay put last night? No. It moves. And I just, just now, I've been really concentrating on exactly how I had it lined up, and, and in the course of the afternoon, I must have sat on it three times, and it was out that far. Oh. Now, I have in there a piece of pretty much like the stuff we have on the floor. It's going to be complicated to put it underneath my mattress, but it's very annoying. Oh, okay. In the course of a night, it'll be over. And it's all, you know, it's there's, all there's no support. Over. You go right off. I could fall out of bed. Yeah. We need to get on that. I can, I can, me and someone else can do that. What um, is this Dr. Paul about? Oh, my word. Oh, Dr. Oh, Paul. Oh, do let me. Yep, he's, yeah, he's on uh, He's on Animal Planet. Is it Animal? National Geographic, National Geographic, I think. yep. Um, he's, a, he's a veterinarian in the in the dairy industry area, and he's, he's large animals and small. Actually, he's any animals. He has a lot of very strange animals, goats and things. And invariably, he's got his arm up the backside of some cow for one reason or another. They're pulling cows and calves out or mm -hmm. trying to tell if they're pregnant or I, it's it goes on and on and on with a lot of really amazing things that they do. It's interesting, I think. He's on, I think, Michigan. Is it Michigan? Could be Michigan. It's one, it's of those Michigan. one of those lakey yeah. places. Yeah. Okay. All right. Dr. P-A-L-L. P-O-L, yeah. yeah. Um, Onyx2986. Hello, ladies. I watch this all the time. I love the dogs very much. I don't know if you know... There are mice running around. Yes. Yeah, we know about that. Yeah, we're very. There are a well lot fewer mice. Yeah. We have it down to we have to catch at least four mice mice a day, no, a week, to keep up with it. Yeah. Because a mouse's gestation period is twenty one days. Is it twenty? And they can breed no. at five or six months, and they can nurse puppies and be bred at the same time, yeah. and it gets very complicated. Yeah, scary. So there is some formula, like you've got to kill off five or four a week or something to stay ahead of them. Uh, B Short says, Carleen, the dogs were barking last night. Beth had to go to the kennels to try to quiet them. That's, that, that was not nothing to compare to the night before. They, all the dogs who bark, one bark, two barks, just a very minor growl and whimper, make a noise type thing. That's not what they, that doesn't count. Okay. It's this horrendous all of them barking at once. All right. Uh, let's see. I do get a, a an absolute dog bark report every day from Lynn? I can't remember. Something like that. Yeah. Um, and she listens all night long and she tells me when they go out, whether they are quiet or whether they bark and how many times they bark. So I have the absolute count on how many barks are made for the last three or four months, she's very, very good. She hasn't missed many days at all. Mm -hmm. I don't know. She's she's up all night listening. Well, we're on it. I don't know where she's from. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, uh, Dee Dee. Um, Judy says I think the book is the residence inside the private world of the White House. Does that sound familiar? The name of the book that you're reading? It could be. Yeah. It's a very simple title. Private world of the White House. Yeah, and they go through all the people in the first disc. They just, she just reads off the name of all the people and how long they've been there. You know and there are some that have been there since the 1940s, it seems. Does, there was one. Did it say, like, how many staff there are in the, in the White House? How many staff? There's a yeah. hundred. There is a hundred, okay. There is a hundred. All right, okay. All right, I'll give it another few seconds. Any more questions, last call? And I'll think about dinner. And you'll think about dinner. I don't. All right. Looks like. I can't like say as I'm really hungry for dinner. No. How was the banana cake? Oh, the banana that cake would be good. That would be excellent. Okay, good. I'm glad you liked it. Big slab of big slab of butter on it. <laughs> <laughs>
All right. That would be good. Okay. Yeah. Talking about the mice. Are we all yeah. done? I think we're all done. Okay. I think that's it. All right. Thank you, everyone. Have a good Bye. night. Bye. Bye.